Good morning, everybody. Today's assembly and this week's tutorials is all about things you need to think about when you are online. And when I mean online, I mean anything that connects you to the internet, be it a computer, an iPad, mobile phone, uh, and even a gaming device, because these days they all connect to the internet and you can interact with people on them. Before we start, we need to remember that the internet is an absolutely fantastic tool. And it was invented by a British scientist uh, 30 odd years ago. He decided to develop it so scientists could talk to each other. But obviously it's spread and spread and spread and now it's an everyday thing. We can go online playing games. You can go online on your mobile phone. You can go online on your iPad. You can go online on your laptop and your desktop computers. And it's brilliant because it can connect you to anybody in the world pretty quickly. It's brilliant for education because you can research and you can look at things and you can empower yourself to do better schoolwork or to help you find solutions to things you're struggling with. And on a social aspect, it's brilliant because you can connect with friends that you might not be able to see at the moment. You can connect to friends you might have in other countries. But also, you can book cinema tickets when you can get there, you can book theatre tickets, you can book holidays when you're older. So it's a brilliant tool that we've got and we need to respect that and we need to make sure that when we're on it, we're staying, stay, we say we're staying safe. So. As with anything, there are a few rules that you need to follow, and I'm sure you know these, and I'm sure you've been told about these all before, but it's always a good idea to be reminded about aspects that you may have forgotten. So I'm going to go through these five or six rules that you must follow when you're online to keep yourself safe. Number one, you need to be nice to people when you're online. As soon as you say something, as soon as you tweet something, as soon as you share a video or share an image online, it is there. You can't get it back. You might have a disagreement with a friend and you might send them a nasty tweet. You might send them a nasty Instagram message. Once it's sent, it can't be got back and it's there for life. So you really need to think, is what I'm typing now, is what I'm sending now going to offend anybody? Would it cause me embarrassment if it got reported and we had to report back to parents what you'd done or said? And remember that When you're playing your games online against people, be careful what you're saying. Be careful how enthusiastic you get. You might upset somebody by saying something uh, that you wish you hadn't said. You might upset people. You might cause offence to people. So when you're online, don't do anything or send anything you wouldn't send to your grandma. And that's probably a good rule of thumb. Because if, if you're going to do that and it's going to upset grandma or granddad or mum or dad, then you shouldn't be saying it. Remember, saying some things online and writing some things online and sharing pictures online can also be criminal offences. So really be careful about how you conduct yourself when you're online. Highly important, this one. And it's something that I don't think you think much about. You've got to be really careful what you share online. And you've got to be really careful about keeping your personal information private. You should never share your name and address. You should never share photographs that you don't know where they're going. 
you should never give information out that might be useful to criminals. Oh, I'm going away for a month next week. We're going on holiday for six weeks. And your, your social media is not locked down with the correct privacy settings, which we'll go on to later. So you've got to be careful what you share and you've got to keep your personal information private. Remember, unfortunately, as it says there, not everybody online is who they say they are. And we'll go on a little bit more about this a little later on. Okay? So, as you're getting older and you get more information that you may want to share, you've got to remember that people are out there who are not who they say they are and they want to steal your personal information. And being able to steal your personal information, like your full name, like your date of birth, like your postcode and where you live, enables people to do illegal things with that data. And you need to be careful that that doesn't happen to you. So, privacy settings. Each platform has its own different type of privacy settings. Your broadband router into your house will have privacy settings that, that people can activate. But I'm more concerned really about your social media, what you post, how you post, and who you let see that social media. Now I know that Facebook has its own privacy settings that you should be put into maximum. So when you share things, you're only sharing things with people that you know and you trust. And people can't get into your site who you wouldn't want onto your site. And people can't contact you who you don't know and really shouldn't be contacting you in the first place. Okay? So make sure that your privacy settings are correct. There's lots of advice and guidance on how to do this. There's a section on the school website about how to protect your privacy settings in different mediums. So each one's slightly different, but whichever platform you use, you might use multiple platforms, please make sure that you know how to lock down your settings so the people that can see the content are the people that you want to see the content of and nobody else. This goes back to point one we made about being nice to people online. Uh, sometimes people aren't. And sometimes people use Twitter and Instagram and other social medias to be insulting and to be uh, mean to people. Each platform, again, has the ability for you to report something that you think is inappropriate. Again, there's advice on each site, on each social media website on how to report something that you think is offensive insulting, criminal, and you need to know how to do that. Okay, so if you think something's been posted that is unacceptable or that's something that maybe has broken the law, then you need to know how to report that. And each system is slightly different, so you need to make sure that on each system you're able to do that and you know how to do that. Everything's got passwords. To get onto the school system, you need a password. To get onto Teams, you need a password. To log into Microsoft 365, you need a password. To get into your own personal devices, you should have a password. So each site you're on, if it asks you to put a password in, if it asks you to use or select a password, please do not use the same password for everything. Please make sure that your password is something that's known only to you. And please make sure that it's not simple. Make it a sentence. Make it a long phrase. Make it random numbers and letters that you may be able to remember. Don't write them down and then somebody else can get into them. Okay. Never give your passwords to anybody. And as I said before, make sure you've got a different password for each website or social media account you go on to. 
because people out there do try and steal passwords and every now and again there's a data breach and people and companies will get fined lots of money because their systems aren't secure and criminals again want to steal your password and your name and that gives them access to things that you wouldn't want them access to so just keep, just think about it when you're setting your passwords please now then, this is a pretty serious one, and this is something that does concern us. Okay, don't agree to meet anybody in person that you've only met online. Okay, because unfortunately out there, people online may not be who they claim to be. And it's called grooming. And it's where people, older normally, could be male, could be female, wants to build a relationship with you online. And then tricks you to do something that you shouldn't be doing. Okay? And especially now, when we're not allowed out as much as we should be, and people are spending more time online, you need to be really careful that you're communicating with who you think you're communicating with. And if you don't know them, don't communicate with them. So there's six places, really. All your social networking sites. Potentially, people can get into them to communicate with you if your privacy settings aren't locked down and you invite them in because you think there's somebody they may not be. Okay, the instant messaging and live streaming apps. Okay. Photo sharing apps and sites like Instagram. Don't accept anybody onto your Instagram account that you do not know. Don't share images on Instagram at all, full stop, even if you know them. Chat rooms, dating apps, online gaming. Okay. You can play any of these games now on PS4s and PS5s if you can get one. They've all got internet connectivity and you can play anybody on the world. So you might think you're playing a 13-year-old bloke in America. He's probably a, well, not probably, he could be a 58-year man down the road who's trying to get to know you, to influence you, to make you think that they're your friend and then to do something they shouldn't be doing. Okay, so you've got to be really careful about your privacy settings, about accepting people you don't know, about communicating with people you don't know. And I know this is on, but there's two fantastic websites there that goes into much more detail about what you can do, about how to keep yourself safe, about not what to do. It's too long for now. So I suggest when you've got a bit of spare time, have a look at either of those websites and they will be able to give you more advice and guidance. And finally, if you see something online that you don't like, or you find upsetting, then you need to let somebody know. Because there are agencies out there that you can report websites to, to have their contact, content checked and content removed. Okay, so make sure you do that and there's additional advice and guidance all across the internet to enable you to report something if you don't feel that you can report it tell somebody you trust who they will then report on your behalf so to finish i'm not saying don't use the internet i'm saying the internet's a fantastic thing your mobile phone is a fantastic computer there's more computing power in your mobile phone than there was in the, the rocket that landed on the moon back in the 60s. It's a fantastic tool for you to use, but you've got to make sure you use it in the correct way and you use it safely. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a nice day.